Hey, what's going on, guys or girls? It's 5M Creation here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add the menu into your 5M server in 2024. Before we get started with this video, I want to let you guys know I do have my own 5M server and my own Discord, so I'm going to put the Discord up here on screen. Hope you guys do join it. Um, I'm trying to make my community bigger. Um, you guys can dual clan, it don't matter what you do. And to get started with this video, all you're going to need is a browser, WinRAR, Visual Studios, and uh, I'll leave all the links down below. But let's get started with this video. So first things first, what I want you guys to do is I want you to open up your file explorer. <clears throat> if you're on Windows 11 or Windows 10, it doesn't matter. And wherever in the last video, wherever you put your 5M server, wherever you ran FX and, you know, when you ran your uh, receipt. So for me, I ran my receipt and I put it in test server. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it. And if you're on Windows 10, uh, it says say create shortcut. But for me, I'm Windows 11, so I got to go to show more options. And I'm going to create a shortcut. Now I'm going to put that shortcut right here because it's going to be very helpful. <clears throat> and then we just go back to downloads. Just delete these. I don't need these. And now what we're going to do is we're open up back up our browser and we're going to look up the menu. Or 5, my bad, 5 and the menu. And the first thing that should pop up is Tom Grove. This is where you're going to get your uh, V menu from. So make sure to click the first link. I also put in the link down down below. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the right where it says releases. We're going to click on the latest release. We're going to scroll down. Scroll down and hit V menu zip. You're going to download that asset. Now we're done with this. We can just minimize it. Open back up our folder. <coughs> go to downloads and extract. So if you're on vMenu, the extract will be like right here. We don't want to extract all. We want to go to WinRAR, extract files. Hit OK. <clears throat> now from there, we could scoot this over to the side because we are not going to need that for a minute. We're going to go to our wherever we just created our shortcut from where our main files are. This is where we're going to put all our resources. Test server. Resources. And now we're going to create a folder. So go to new folder lowercase v or lowercase v uppercase m and then lowercase e n u and that should be v, v menu now we're going to head over back to v menu and we're going to control a or you could just select them all but me i like to hit control a control c or you can hit control x go to v menu right click on it hit control v or you could hit paste which will be this one for me Now from here, we're going to grab our permissions file. So open up your config. Control, now click on permissions. Now control X. And now we'll cut it. Control X. Go back over to resources, test server, and go to right here, right here on test server. So right where it shows resources and cache, uh, right click and hit paste or control V. And that's what we need that's what we need for this. Now we can go back to our resources, go back to V menu, and these will be where you can put add-on vehicles. <clears throat> um this is like if you want to put an add-on vehicle, add-on ped, weapons, whatever. But I'll be showing you guys a different add-on vehicle menu. I already have it. There's also a different add-on ped, but I could probably just do it in this one. It isn't that hard really. And weapons, same for weapons. <clears throat> but we're probably not gonna really use uh the V menu side of things. These are the locations. Um, what else can we have? This is pretty much it for this. So let's go back to our permissions. And what we're going to need is we're going to scroll down to where am I? Keep scrolling down. Where's this V mini key? My, my bad. I know it was right here. Right here. So 244 is the M key, which is so when you go to your server and you press M, this will be the key to open up V menu. And if you want to change it to F1, put it to 288. So 288 is F1, 244 is M. But a lot of people like to call it the F1 menu, so they put it to 288. So that's what I'm going to do. It makes it a lot easier. Now we scroll down. We scroll down to here. So this is our group inheritance. So when we open up the interaction menu for 
uh, it's called the SEM interaction menu. We're also going to put in a group dot police. So we'll be, I'll be showing you guys how to add these uh, identifiers. And um, when we get further down into more tutorials of how to set up a, a vmenu base uh, 5M server. But this is where we'll start messing with things. But for now, admin, admin controls some of this stuff. So that's admin, that's moderator. So admin, so whatever moderator has, admin has, but whatever admin has, moderator does not have. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make ourselves admin. So we're gonna, so I like to hit tab, tab. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm gonna enter, hit enter. I like to oh wait, select this whole line. Control C, Control V, and what I like to do for organization, I like to do a hashtag, which will make this line of code what I'm about to write um, noted. So, and then my name. So, if we have a whole bunch of server admins, and say one does something really bad, and now we're kicking him off the team, we know that hey, his name's right here. We could delete his identifier, restart our server, and everything else. So. Control S. Now to find our Steam ID, we're going to minimize this. We are going to open up Steam. Wait for Steam to open. We're going to open up Creations, or in my, in my case, my profile. We're going to go to View My Profile. Whatever Steam would like to load. And then we're going to go over to the right, and we're going to right-click. Oh, okay. Go back to view my profile. Now we're going to right click on the side over here, copy page URL, and we're going to go back to our browser. And we're going to look up. This is my personal favorite, Steam ID Pro. Because if you use if you use VacBan or something, it's not going to give you your Steam hex, which was like it's kind of annoying, but it it's not that annoying. Now, now that we're on Steam ID Pro, we could hit control V that we just did and hit look up and this will give you all your account information this will give you all your good standings and this is when you on other servers when you want to join an apartment and you put in your steam ID and or your page URL put it in it'll show your game band back bands community band trade band and they're looking if you have any sort of bad background to see if you can even you know be worthy in their um, 5m server but for us we're good. And now for the 5M hex, we can either copy this like this, like select it, or we can just hit the little copy button right there. We can minimize again. We could open back our visual code. And we just select this, select your Steam, and then the last digit number, and hit Control V. And then Control S will Control Save, or you can hit Save. But if you want to know the shortcut, it's just Control S. Hit both of them at the same time. Now to continue setting this up, we can minimize this. And now we'll click, we'll double click on server, which will pull up our server. And what we are going to do here is we're going to add a system admin to our 5M server, which is going to be us. So what we'll do is that we could just copy this. Control C, Control V. So this one, this one's connected to my CFRE or CFX.RE, which is the account logged into so that's how you can do that or we could go back to our steam identifier I'll hit close on that we hit copy again hit minus and now from 5n all the way to the last digit so 8 we hit control V and then you hit control S and then now we'll make sure that whenever you start the server that you have all the access to it and now the last thing we're gonna do is so excuse me I had a, I had a little burp right there is we're gonna go I like to do this at the bottom it's just to make sure that it ensures V menu and ensures all the commands first I like to do X X E C Q space and then make sure to go over to permissions control or F to it control C on your name or you could just click it once click it again and it'll show already highlighted control C and then make sure you have your space and then you hit control V so it'll be E X E C space permissions dot C F G control S. So that will make sure it ensures V menu and make sure it learns and or learns um, performs the permissions on it. So say for admins 
and for moderators and for the regular people joining the lobby. And then you can hit Control S, go back to permissions, and and probably in a later video, but it's not that hard. All you got to do is just change this stuff to moderator or admin. Just change if it's built in everyone, that means everyone can use it. And if you want to change and built in everyone, just go to group moderator, control C, and go to select that in group moderator. And that means group moderator can do it, and so can admin, but not everyone can now. So, and, and same for this one. And just select everything that you don't want everyone using. Make sure to select. So if you want stuff that everyone can use, make sure it's built in dot everyone. And if it's something that you don't want them using, then that's group dot admin. Is next, you want to go to server. You want to go over to your resources. Controls. You want to select it. Control C. And underneath it, you want to ensure V menu and then hit control S now we could run our FX server wait for it and now to see if V menu did open we could see that it said started resource V menu now we can minimize and now we could go to 5M. Now we open up 5M. Hit connect. Or you can hit F8 and connect by local host. Now that we're in, you guys can tell how we're in because it changed our outfit to the V menu outfit. And uh, like, so if you already have clothing on, it'll just change it. And now we could hit F1 and it will pop up for us right here and that should be pretty much it for that guys and I'm going to be showing you guys PMA voice which is a whole different voice system than the V menu voice and it's going to be way better for RP you could control it to talking quiet you could talk normal and you could also talk really loudly so instead of just keep enabling voice chat and then after enabling voice chat saving the personal settings well I'll show you guys how to enable PMA voice and It'll make your RP server more alive. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, share, just subscribe, do all that cringy stuff. And um, yeah, and if you guys want to join my Discord server, it will be for my 5M server. I'm just trying to populate it and whatever. You guys can do a clan, do whatever. I just want people to join and uh, have whatever. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace, peace.